What's going on guys, Argan here, back on the Gerald the Breaker Season 5 video. And yes, this time we have audio and goofy goobers. Dude, I don't know what happened when OBS. Anyways, anyways, man, some of you probably don't even know what I'm talking about, but these are the transfers that we're getting for Season 5 of Gerald the Breaker. We have Full Power, Super Saiyan Broly, Super Saiyan 2 Trunks, Rage, uh, Super Saiyan 2 Trunks, Super Saiyan Gogeta, Base Goku Black, and Goku Black Rosé, Base Vegito, and Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. We will now be looking at the super attacks for all of these fellas. Now, I'm I'm not going to lie, boys. I did cheat. I did take a look at the Crimson Split Blade. This is the sexiest super attack I have ever seen in my life. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Nuts. Nuts. N bro, are you, like, are you, are you kidding me? Bro! That it, like, it's, it's funny... Because I don't think Goku Black as a raider is getting the scythe, but like us having it as this like transfers is insane. I mean, we'll be able to become Goku Black with the Dragon Balls, but my god, this is one of the sexiest supers in the game. Uh, it actually seems to be pretty decent. It's very quick. Um, uh, the movement on it, I will say, like, what's the startup? Startup is not really that bad. Startup is not that bad. In terms of like the move actually moving distance wise, it's nothing crazy, but this is one of the faster uh, melee supers in the game, if not the fastest. I feel like what's gonna be very telling what uh, would make this good or not is the damage on it. It's very quick like this and it deals a lot of damage. Um, this could be one of the best melee supers in the game. Uh, the one thing that we like about melee supers is the fact that they hold the Raider in place for a very long time. This super, of course, is not going to be doing that. But if the damage lives up to the fast, um, you know, flurry of blows, I think it'd be a very, very, very good super. But, you know, we'll just have to wait and see when it drops in game to see the actual uh, damage that it deals. All right, next up, we have uh, a surprise one. Final Explosion. Uh, yeah. So, I don't know because I was asking the data monitors before. It doesn't seem like uh, they're you're getting Super Saiyan 2 Majin Vegeta or just Majin Vegeta in the game. So I don't know if they're dropping his form like they dropped like super attacks like they gave us um, uh, Hellzone Grenade with Piccolo like previously where they kind of just gave it to us and it happened to be on a banner. This looks crazy. This looks crazy. Like, bro. Like, in terms of AoE, my god, dude, it just, it just, it just goes, it just goes, bro, there's like not even a startup on this, there isn't even startup on, bro, bro, literally, Stone Raider, pop this, see ya, <laughs> bye bye <laughs> bye bye dude, like, like, are you kidding me, imagine getting a Raider in a small space, like a cave, and popping this, imagine multiple survivors using this, imagine using this on the STN, like like hello this looks insane this looks in i mean obviously the drawback damn vegeta's thick but anyways the drawback is gonna be like the little end lag of not being able to move the character at the end but if the damage is there if this, if this honestly if this skill just knocks back the raider it doesn't cost like 300 I, I just feel like this might just be good on AoE. Like, look how easy this is going to be to hit. How are you going to miss this move? How is this move going to miss? Explain to me. Explain to me how this move is going to miss. How are you going to dodge this move as a Raider? But Raider's OP, right? Anyways, um, the only flaw I could see with Final Explosion is similar to uh, Fat Boo's Angry Explosion. If it's a one frame, like, hitbox. So if you guys don't know, like... Uh, Fat Boo's Angry Explosion, if you dodge it at the right time, even if you're in it, it doesn't hurt you. So I'm curious if that's how Final Explosion is going to work, so we'll have to test this out, but that seems cracked. I mean, listen, this is the sexy super attack, but this super attack, Final Explosion? Final Explosion looking nasty, bro. I'll see Final Breaker. <laughs> Breaker. Like, I like I I don't I don't know man <laughs> bro I don't know what it is with fusion transfers bro they just I don't know man I don't know bro I don't know man this is literally like 
This is literally the active skill. This is literally Vegeta's active skill, like the Key Blast Flurry. I don't know, bro. Th this this does not seem like it. Uh, let's 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 move on. Hopefully, uh, Vegito Blue has another super attack. He does. Thank God. So this is Broly's. Okay, this is full power Super Saiyan Broly's. So he does a little does a little head whip back, and he screams. Startup doesn't seem to be that bad, but that end lag is fat. That is some fat end lag. So takes about two seconds. It takes about a, a second and a half for the move to come out, and look how long you're sitting there screaming at the Raider. So end lag is good and bad because say if the Raider is uh, having you know uh, animation play where they have iframes, that's where end lag can be good in case you miss time the super attack. Can be helpful in situations like that. Uh, this is one of the widest, thickest boy super attacks. I don't want to say boy, but pause. Anyways, it, it's a dude. It's a it's a big super attack, bro. It's just very wide. What do you want me to say? All right, it's it's a fat super attack. Anyways, that looks pretty good. Startup is you know there is a startup. It's not the longest startup in the world, but it's definitely you know you're gonna need a stun with the definitely gonna need a stun with the. All right, let's look at uh, split flinger, sh sp sp split finger shot. Oh oh. They did it, guys. They gave a fusion a good super. <laughs> they did it. This one seems really good. This one, like, no no glaze. This one actually seems really good. Uh, I'm hoping we get a final combo out of my hog. There's no shot we don't get one, right? This seems really good. Bro, this has, like, virtually no startup. Comes out really, really fast. Uh, no AoE at the end, but this just moves very quickly. I feel like, you know, the damage might be a little lacking on this, but this seems very good. It seems very, very good. I'm actually very impressed by that move. Thank God. Thank God, because... <laughs> where, where was Pew Pew? Where was Pew Pew, bro? I'm sorry, where was Pew Pew? <laughs> I'm sorry. Just like... Come, come on, man. Come on, man. What, what, what are they doing? Super destructive disc, huh? Wow. That is just... That is a whole pizza. <laughs> you are throwing a pizza pie at the Raider. Okay. All right. Um, I don't know. I like I like discs. I like the discs, and I like dual destructive discs. I hate chain destructive discs barrage. We'll have to see uh, how good this is in practice. Uh, it's not that crazy of a startup, I'll say. It, there is a startup. It, it's there. It's noticeable. It's not. It's not the worst though. It's not the worst. Uh, what I'm very curious about is the tracking, because typically these disc-based supers have really, really cracked tracking. So I hope this one does as well. So tracking plus thick pizza i don't know man could be pretty good could actually be pretty good black kamameha okay bro let's see this wow wow that is fast that is very fast i was not expecting it to be that fast that is quite good that is actually really good dude um i don't know if it's mo i don't think it's motionless fast but that is like one of the faster bean supers in the game i'm actually very curious this might just make uh, it being a vanish kick combo. This might just be vanish kick combo, like, you know, win uh, window of timing. This this looks really good. This black on actually looks really, really good. I'm very curious to see the key blast on um, Goku Bike. So this is the super black on Okay, so this is literally super on but the black version, but black. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Um, yeah, I'm normally not a actually, actually, Terrible jokes aside, it actually is better than the Super Kamehameha. The startup is not that bad. The end lag is not that bad. It comes out really fast. This looks pretty solid, dude. Like, call me crazy. Let me know in the comments. Like, is this faster than Super Kamehameha? It looks like it. It looks like it to me. I don't know. All right. So this is Super Black Kamehameha Rosé. Ooh. Wait, what was that at the beginning? This is fast too, bro. This is like the times 10 God Kamehameha. Yo, Goku Black is looking Goku cracked. Sorry. All right, um, let's look. I, actually, I think that's it. Nothing for Trunks? All right, I guess the guys are still getting... Because we're, we're missing Trunks or we're missing uh, Gogeta in here. Oh, okay, we still got more. So this is the Raider match found video. I saw this already. I posted this. That's hot, bro. C come on, bro. Come on, come on, bro. Come on, bro. 
You, you know, you got a smile on your face looking at this. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Come on, man. It literally like the, the Goku fake out. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right, bro. Look at that. That is crazy. They, they, they cooked with this one, bro. I am not going to get tired looking at that. I am not going to get tired looking at that. So this is Final Kamehameha. Huh? They did it. It seems decent. It seems decent. Startup is a little long. Startup is a little long. But I think as long as someone is in a melee combo or a stun, it will land. It's not like, I, I would say in terms of startup, it's probably average. Maybe slightly above average in terms of like, I, actually, there is, it's, it's noticeable. Like, when, is it, when does he start activating it? it? Comes out about two seconds. About two seconds. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm very curious to see the damage on that because it's pretty quick. So the damage is up to stuff like that. That it could be. Oh, heat dome. Bro, I love me some. Sorry. <laughs> Y'all saw how slow he was moving? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck landing this one, fellas. No, bro. Why is he mo Not the zoom out? Okay. Okay. All right, listen. Listen. Trunks is on some grandpa energy with this super. I'm not going to hold you. He's absolutely on some grandpa energy. But that, that camera angle is... That camera angle is sexy. That camera angle is sexy, dude. That is a nice looking super. So far... Is this better than the Scythe? It might be, bro. It's like Scythe and it. Heat Dome looks good, bro. I knew Tro Trunks gave that Fire Dome, bro. I knew he did. Spirit Ball, Yamcha. Oh, it's trash. <laughs> oh, it's trash. Um... <sighs> The only way I see this having the potential to be good is if you're using this on the Raider and they can't tell. Because as you can see, Cell is not being knocked uh, back by this until like the final hit. So maybe if you float up above the Raider and you spam this on them and if it deals decent damage, maybe it could be good. But I'm sorry, bro. If it looks bad in the preview, like that's, that's kind of all you need to know. I'm not, I don't know how I feel about that. I do not know how I feel about that. All right, so we also got active skills as well. So this is the refrigerator skill. No, it's, it's over, bro. It's over. It's over, bro. It's over. Raiders. Raiders. Pack it up, Raiders. Pack it's it's over, bro. <laughs> Raiders. Hey, Raiders. Listen, bro. <laughs> Raiders. Raiders. It's, it's been real, bro. Ra Raiders. It's been real, dude. We, we we had a good run, dude. We've had a good run. Are you kidding me? J just just sodas for free, huh? Just just legit sodas for free. Yeah. Pour one out for Raiders, bro. Pour pour one out for Raiders for real. Actually, pour one out for Raiders. Okay. All right. I'm not even gonna get. I'm not even gonna get into that right now. I'm not even gonna get into that. Key sense survivor. They literally, they literally just said "fuck you, King Kai." They literally just said "fuck you, King Kai" with this skill. Well, I mean, you know what? This is good for free-to-play players because um, King Kai is a similar skill. I forget what it's called, but essentially, it's what this does. But the only difference is that King Kai's works from any part of the map. I imagine this key sense would only work if the raider is close nearby. But this obviously allows you to locate the raider, so. Interesting. Interesting. Like, if you're curious where the raider is, uh, like, you want to summon something that could be good. So this is Poir's active. So that's the smack. We've seen the smack. Smack the fuck out of cell. Oh! Okay. Interesting. The grab is not as good as I thought it was. It could literally be Master Hand and um, Breakers. I mean, I guess it, I guess it holds the Raider in place for a decent amount of time. I was kind of just hoping it would be like the stun 
time of like holding the Raider in place, but this skill seems to be better than I was, you know, letting on. And it seems like you get to stay in um, the transformation for quite some time, so I wonder if you could smack and grab and grab and smack. Alright, moving on. Alright, so we got Floor Change Bat. This is very slow. This is very slow. So it seems like what people are speculating, it might be the case, that uh, this uh, skill is going to be best for maneuverability and uh, for being small. And I guess, you know, harder to see. Where uh, Oolong Change Rocket is going to be better for um, actual uh, escaping the Raider. Alright, let's uh, move on to the next one. So this is my stun grenade. Yikes. Yikes. I'm very curious to see the full range on this. And I'm curious if this stun time is as long as Solar Flare. That's pretty long, dude. <laughs> that stun time is kind of long, bro. Is this Solar Flare levels of stun time? Bro is stunned for a while. He's... For a while, bro. I I don't I I don't know, man. Hey, Raiders. Raiders, let's talk, bro. <laughs> so this is the Jocko ship. Nice. Okay, so it seems like you get an initial boost on this, and you like you are really smoothing, and then he gets tuckered out. So, I mean, it looked very very good in the actual um, gameplay that we saw during the live stream. Curious if they've nerfed it since, because here it doesn't seem that great, but in the live stream it looked cracked. So, not really too impressed by it here. Alright, let's see, we got some skill descriptions. So these are going to be the uh, skills. Not sure if these are passives and act or actives. Alright, so Saiyan Savagery. Oh, so this is going to be a passive. Increases damage though in exchange for decreased flight speed. We already knew about this one. This is going to be full power Super Saiyan Broly. Battle Instincts. If dragon changing while the camera is facing a raider that has been spotted, greatly increases movement speed for a short time when approaching the raider. Interesting. Effect ends uh, once within a certain distance of the raider. That's an, an odd one. Movement speed ice. Yes, dude. Movement speed. Movement speed. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, uh, Memories of Battle restores cooldown time for Dragon Change as soon as your barrier breaks? Oh? Dude, you know what skill is going to be really good with this? Immortal Champion, bro. You get your barrier pop, you get sent to Timbuktu, and you get some extra Dragon Change to freaking uh, go with it, dude. That's insane. All right, so we got Divinity Incarnate. This is going to be a Goku Black one for sure. Reduces damage you take from close range attacks while dragon chains, bro? That means melee attacks. So if you guys don't know, melee attacks are the most damage dealing. It's the most damage with, like, you take the most damage with melees, right? Besides, like, getting hit with, like, level 4 supers. Like, this, like, melees are the fastest way to whittle down dragon changes. I've come for you, restores your barrier when you dragon change. I, I, this is looking like Super Saiyan uh, Gogeta. That's not that good. You might as well just use Auto Barrier. I, I, don't, I don't like that one. Capsule Refrigerator. Releases a small fridge from a capsule once per match. Interesting. Alright, so that's how they balanced it. Okay. Okay. I was going to say, dude, that a cooldown? Imagine this with quick sleep. Forget about it, bro. Forget it. Place one when you can't dragon change to enjoy and to enjoy drinks around the fridge and increase dragon change cooldown time recovery. And if your allies can use this fridge as well, it disappears after a little while. Oh, <laughs> you're just like, yo, boys, y'all, y'all want some drinks? Anybody thirsty? Word, word up, dude. Imagine seven people with that. Imagine seven people with that. Anyways, key detection. Yeah, I mean that's. Oh, so you don't share this? Oh, okay. So, to keep this in mind, King Kai's uh, ability, um, I think I think it's called like Psychokinesis, I forget, or Telekinesis, or whatever the hell. Uh, King Kai's actually shows allies, this one is only for you, so that's not that good. That's not that good. Unparalleled Fusion, this is probably going to be uh, Vegito Blue. Increases attack damage during Dragon Change, Dragon Change at the cost of more Limit Gauge consumed over the time by Super Attacks. 
does not apply to Ultimate Dragon Chain. Interesting. They knew, bro. They knew because the passes would stack. The ones that increase limit gauge. Okay. Bro, they're giving a lot of damage buff uh, passives, dude. They really are. All right, Warrior of Hope. Oh, this is going to be Trunks. Increases limit gauge amount based on the number of allies removed from the game. Reduces limit gauge amount if there aren't any that aren't that many allies out of the game. Wow. Wow, dude. Imagine a scenario with all seven souls and Warrior of Hope equipped. God, damn. Guys, I, I hate OBS and I hate technology. Uh, for some reason, um, my mic wasn't being read, so it was using these he headphone mic. So I was gonna sound, I probably sounded like garbage for like a majority of this video, so I apologize. Uh, to my understanding, uh, this is it for now. Um, I mean, I wanted active skills, and god damn it, did we get some. I mean, god, god damn it, did we, did we, did we get some? That is gonna be insane. Um, in terms of the supers, Heat Dome. Heat Dome looks insane. Final Kamehameha looks insane. Um, uh, both of the black Kamehamehas look incredible. Uh, Split Finger Shot seems really good. Uh, Final Explosion seems insane. And, uh... Oh, this is Crimson Edge. Oh, okay. This is what it's actually called. It's called Crimson Edge. And Crimson A Edge is like the best looking super. Honestly, guys, although we are getting less transfers this time around, I really do think the quality of the actual um, super attacks has gone way up. And I think I will take that over, um, you know, having mid um, tra uh, transfers and super attacks. You know, I mean, again, It'd be very possible that some of these guys' key blasts absolutely suck, but, uh, I mean, there isn't a terrible, like, besides Spirit Ball, there isn't, like, a god-awful, uh, super attack on, like, you know, any of these, uh, transfers, in my opinion. I think all of these seem decent or, like, fantastic at best or worst. Alright guys, that is going to be the video. Uh, if more comes out, of course, I'll do another update or, or maybe a short depending on how much it is. I believe this is everything. Um, no Spirit Sword, uh, nor no Sword of Hope. So it's possible that those super attacks were missed. I'm not entirely sure. But again, um, these leaks are in the uh, Reddit um, Breakers Discord and also in my own. So if you guys want to see this stuff yourself, you can join uh, my Discord and uh, with that being said, comment down below uh, which super attack you guys think is the most impressive, uh, which transfer you're most excited for, and uh, leave a like if you guys enjoyed, and comment, I already said comment, subscribe, I'm sorry, I'm so scatterbrained, dude, this stuff is stressful, man, this stuff is stressful, dude, anyways, guys, take care, stay safe, have fun, peace out, subscribe, and I'll, I'll catch you guys later, man, <laughs> I'll be using the right mic next time, dude, and no muted audio, I swear.